Hey, this is Ian here in the camp with Camp Nerd, and before we actually get into the actual tutorial that I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a small tutorial on top of that tutorial to kind of get rid of something on Visual Studio. A lot of y'all may know, some people may not know, and so... What I'm going to show you is how to get rid of is, which is, this is the application that we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the open file dialog in WPF, but that is in the next tutorial. I just want to show you this real quick. See, when we start the application, you see this little toolbar right here pop up. All right. Now you, it gives you that little, uh, like some options and stuff like that, but I'm going to show you how to get rid of that because it gets annoying after a while and I just had to reset everything. So I figured this would be a good little info tutorial on how to get rid of the uh, toolbar in the XAML debugging. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to tools and then we're going to go down to options. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to look for debugging and you're just going to click on that and then what you're going to come down to is uh, you're going to look for the enable the UI debugging. Where is it at? Let's expand this out and let's just go to general. That'll be a lot easier. All right, uh, right here, the enable UI debugging tools for XAML, which is that's what I started to say. But what you're going to do with that is you're just going to click on that. I'm going to press OK. And then now, whenever you run the application, then you will get the actual full UI and you don't have to deal with that little black box thing right there. All right, well, I'm going to get back to doing this tutorial so I can post it today. That's just a little pre teaser to get everything done. And so uh, remember, this is Ian here in Camp Nerd. And I will see y'all guys in the next tutorial. If you like this little uh, trick to get rid of that uh, taskbar window on your application, be sure to hit that like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I will see y'all guys in the next tutorial. All right. Keep it nerdy.